Hey guys, Shoulders here, and I've got an, a new battle for you guys today. Uh, this is actually uh, Peekaboo's LBAT uh, test team, I guess you could say. Uh, if you guys don't watch Peekaboo, you definitely should. He's doing a series called LBAT Let's Build a Team in the NU tier, and basically his fans will like download the team and like test it out and then give him feedback on how to improve it and stuff like that. So that's what I did here. I actually have three battles with these guys that I'll be uploading. So you guys can look forward to that. And let's start. So I'm going to lead off with my camera up. I know that he's got the Mantine out. The water type move is obvious so I switched into Substrika. I know that he's going to switch into Stunfist now, so I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. Doesn't do very much, despite the fact that I am modest. So I'm going to go into Sir Period to resist the ground type move. He's going to switch into Mantine as I go for the Calm Line. Despite Mantine being a uh, flying type, I know that he's not going to be able to kill me, so I'm going to go for the Giga Drain as he goes into Glaceon which I can kill on the next turn with a in power rock. I'm going to taunt the slacking because I don't have him setting up on any on me in any sort of way. And then he's going to switch out into Mantine. And I'm not really afraid of Mantine right now. So I'm just going to keep Giga Draining. I'm going to live the air slash and then able to take him out with the Giga Drain on the next turn. The superior is actually like sweeping the team right now, which is surprising. So I go for the Giga Drain on the Slacking. It does a fuck ton to it. So I know that the Slacking is offensive and not defensive in any way. I'm going to go for a Giga Drain. Still does a lot to the Weezing, like a third, probably. Just over a third. So I'm going to go for the Taunt, but he goes for the Flamethrower. It actually doesn't do a lot to me, so I'm going to go to the, for the Giga Drain get up to a respectable amount where I know that flamethrower won't kill me and I'm going to survive the next flamethrower able to take him out with another giga drain so that's three pokemon down he's going to go into mawile and actually take me out with a sucker punch which is unfortunate so I'm going to go into zeb strike and go for the overheat kill it in one hit and then he's going to go up to sunfisk I'm going to go into mysterious predicting the earth power but he goes for discharge instead doesn't really do very much I'm going to go for the shadow ball doesn't do much the stun fisk is actually especially defensive I know he's going to go into slacking so I go for the little wisp but it misses I know the pursuit is coming so I stay in go for another will o wisp I actually get the burn now that he's Tron he has a uh, Tron. I can safely switch out into Mr. Playboy, the Lucky Lucky. And I'm going to live a impact, go for the sword stance. And now that he has to recharge, I'm going to go for a substitute on the next turn. And yeah. Go for a sword stance as he has to break my sub. He does it with a giga impact, which is kind of and I guess it's productive because now he has to recharge, but I'm able to go for a substitute again and wait for the burn to take him out on this turn. So now that I'm plus three, uh, he's going to bring in his stun fist. I'm going to easily uh, two hit KO out with the body slam. I unfortunately get uh, static on the first body slam and he's able to take out my substitute with uh, two earth powers. But uh, I, I'm able to live the next earth power and take it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely be doing more videos as I edit the team and send it to Pikuwu and comment on how he should definitely switch the team up. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.